This is it, the big kahuna, the most expensive roast you can buy. And we'd be right to be terrified that I'm gonna screw it up. All I've done is applied a little butter to each cut end of the roast, and then a paste. Well, it's not a paste, it's a dry flour, salt, and pepper mixture that becomes paste when it interacts with the moisture on the outside of the rib roast. I'm gonna serve it on the bone and serve five people, and I'm very happy about that since I'm one of them. But I can also have the butcher take the roast off of the bone and tie it back on. And then when I'm done, carve it as if it were a regular roast and feed more than a dozen people. Look at those ribs right there. It'll act as its own rack right there in the pan. And then I'm sweating. I'm fearful. My heart rate is soaring. What if it all goes wrong? A simple $20 investment. Oh, I'm sorry, $30 investment. You can get a digital oven safe thermometer and that's gonna allow me to monitor from outside of the oven environment the temperature, the internal temperature of the roast. If I'm spending close to $200 on a piece of meat, the $30 investment's gonna pay off the first time I don't screw it up. And there we have it, fresh out of the oven at 122 degrees in the interior portion. It'll rise up a little bit more as it sits here smelling unbelievably good with this beautiful crisp exterior. This is a rib roast of beef from the New York Times.